like a full blown chip, you've got to have a tremendous amount of roll. So if I'm like 40 to 50 yards out, not feeling my 50 yard pitch shot, what I'm going to do is similar to what we did with the chipping, is I'm basically going to place the ball in the middle of my stance, right? So you have a nine iron in my hand, or maybe even a pitching wedge. And I'm going to still set my weight forward. I'm going to have a little bit of a higher backswing. You, you know, it's again, a pitch is you get past that park bench and I'm hinging, but there's not a lot of hinging going on. So I'm going to maintain that lowercase y. Because what I want now is maybe 40% air and 60% roll. Like if this is all in the fairway, by the way, because you can't do this really with the rough per se. So I've got plenty of fairway to work with. I'm going uphill. I get it up in the air about 40%. It lands in 60% rolls up onto the green. So it's just kind of like a big chip shot. And again, if I had a bigger club in my hand, it's going to go a lot further and roll a lot further. But this is more on the fairway, right? Again, that distance. Now the other thing is, is you can really plan and plot to not have that distance and set yourself up for that 70 or 80 yard shot, which is my sweet spot. I love 70 to 80, even sometimes 90. 